Man, I'm so excited to be the 2018 commencement speaker for Oakwood Academy. You see, this is big for me because this is the same school that kicked me out my ninth grade year. So to be invited back to be the speaker for their graduation is absolutely amazing. You made it, class of 2018, you here. <laughs> By a show of hands, how many of you have cried this year? How many of you was just straight stressed out this year? How many of you lost a loved one this year? How many of you went through like straight depression this year? How many of you felt like, and you got word, that you probably weren't gonna be able to graduate this year? Here you are now. So I want you to do me a favor, class of 2018. I want you to take your time and embrace this moment right here. Take some time and embrace this, but think back on when you was up crying, when you was working on that paper, when you was thinking like, am I going to look and text the answers or am I going to learn this myself and do it the right way? Life's going to be painful. Oh, you thought what you dealt with your junior year and senior year or something? Wait till you start paying bills and you got to get cleared for college and so homeboy break up with you. <laughs> Listen to me, like, I'm just, I'm just letting you know, like, life's going to be rough and you've been hearing it from your parents, so please don't, don't, don't be upset with me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm echoing their voice, I'm just telling you right now, like, life is going to be rough. It's supposed to be painful, but that's how you grow. It's, it's going to take time, but what's on the other side, it's always worth it. I've experienced my fair share of pain in my life just like every other adult in this church today. So I went on to the amazing Oakwood Academy and Oakwood University and got my bachelor's and master's. But when I graduated, I didn't just graduate with degrees. I also graduated with an associate's in abandonment, with the bachelor's of brokenness, with the master's of misery, a PhD of pain, and a doctrine of depression. Like life can be rough. But I kept putting the work in. And I said, this will not define me. This very thing I'm experiencing will refine me. And that's how you go to the next level. So if you really want to experience next level living, embrace the pain, embrace adversity, embrace the challenges that come your way. For those things are always working for your good. So all the dreams that you have, all your aspirations that you have, hold on to it. I'm grateful for what I have. I'm grateful to be in this position, but I ain't going to settle. I want everything I'm supposed to get. So some of you right now, you got dreams and aspirations. Those things will come true. Some of you sitting in front of me right now, you're not really sure what you want to do or where you're going to go in life. Let me tell you something. You work on being the absolute best version you can be of yourself and everything else is going to fall into place. So now I see myself traveling. I've been to South Africa about six, seven times the past few years. I have been to Australia three, four times the past few years. Like India, I never thought I'd be doing what I'm doing right now. Come on, y'all. I got kicked out of this school. I went to another school and failed over and over again. Drug and alcohol abuse but my condition was not my conclusion where you are right now is just the beginning and there was so much more that you have and experience there was so much more that you're supposed to have everything that you attain to have you can have it but all you got to do is stand up and say I want success stand up and say I want value stand up and say I want to have an impact and be everything that this school and my family has prepared me to be, but more importantly, be everything that I've been created and called to be. And when you do that, my young friends, I will see you at the top. God bless you all.